Hello, Peter C. Hayward here doing my daily Soul Forge. Let's go and let's see what my reward is today. It is a Uranti Cryomancer, the card that beat me yesterday. Oh, that was really not the, the Cryomancer's fault, that was really my crappy dex fault. Um, today I am going to be playing against Bobby once more. I'm just waiting for him to come online. In the meantime, let's have a look at the changes I've made to the deck and I'll also show you my new deck. Okay. So, I say new, it's just a, a, I decided to have a go at making a decent uh, Rage One, pardon my hiccup, Rage One Hellion deck. Uh, the trick to this deck I discovered was the Deep Branches. Somehow the Deep Branches made all the difference, especially because they got Breakthrough so they can do the damage needed to grow Rage One. So it's obviously Tempest Uterra. I got my Stormbring in there because he just does consistent damage. Oh, Flame Blade, I got two of those in because I've got three Wind Callers. And if you can plant a Flame Blade and a Wind Caller, then they kind of have to deal with both of those threats. Um, and if you've got the Rageborn out as well, yeah, so it overwhelms people nicely. I've got a Shurian Mystics because they feed the Rageborn. I've got a Call the Lightning, which has won me a game or two. Uh, Fervent Assault, only two of those. Two Ferocious Roars, which is enough in my experience. Two en Enrages. Three Stormforge. Now, there is a, a splash of Uterra in here, but in my experience, you, there's enough uh, Tempest... Oh, uh, that's that's Bobby. I need five more minutes, five minutes or so, something. To set things up, I'll send you an untitled email already. Cool. So in the meantime, I'll show you the deck. Uh, yeah, in my experience, there's enough Tempest in this deck that Uterra, uh, that a um, Stormforge avatar is a good play a lot of the time. Two Everflames. Uh, my, my solo singular seismic adept and a two firestorms, and then so that that deck's been doing quite nicely for me. Uh, and I've also made some changes to Techno Flame. Bobby sent me an email after watching the email. He suggests after watching the video, he sent me an email. He suggested getting rid of the Stormbringer and putting in another Magma Hound, trading an Energy Prison out for a Spark, and I traded a Metamind Adept out for a Uranti Bolt. He also pointed out that unlike my Drobit 2.0 deck, you don't need to uh, level up cards at the rate that I was. Uh, so while we wait for him, let's play a game online. Uh, Julian might just have to be waiting a minute. So yeah, the Drobit deck relies on surviving and just like leveling up as much as possible because this deck has, a, you know, the bombs are better at earlier levels. You don't have to do that, have that focus. Um, the deck does suffer from the lack of Grimgold Predators, which is really what the deck has turned into. So, let's see if I can get a game through before <coughs> Bobby is ready, otherwise he may have to wait. But I'm keen to, um, keen to see how it goes against him. Come on, Vesalkus. I was playing the other day, and I came across uh, Feeder Saint, who's Decaffeinated Gaming, so I was very excited. Now, I'm just going to Energy Prison this right off the bat, because I don't want to deal with that, and I'm obviously playing your Terra Rush deck. I could Rhyme Horde, and they'd probably trade, but I would still be taking 6 damage from his second attack, so I'm going to Energy Prison, and I'm going to Bright Steel. Should have put him in the center row, because there's no chance of him... Uh, being attacked and it would give him more movement, but that's okay. If he now Echo Wisps, I can take them out with a Magma Hound. I won't get to play my Synapsis just because I'm playing against such a, uh, from the looks of it, a very fast damage deck. Um, so I'm guessing I'm playing Pure Terror. Pure Uterra, based on the fact that he's playing a Root Forge. Uh, what can I do against that? Like a Magma Hound will cancel that out. Restless Wanderers. Yeah, I'm going to chuck a Metamind against the Restless. <laughs> against the Restless. And see what I get. If I get a Techno Smith, I'll probably risk it. I did not. Everflame is nice though, so I'm going to. Oh, that'll die. Damn. I could ignore the Shard Plate for now. Nah, I'm going to magma, magma Hunt. So I don't know what the right play is here. I am not yet used to this deck. Uh, I'm expecting a Life Bound, which will... Oh, that's a nice hand. 
I don't know. I have not got the hang of playing this deck yet. Um, let me know what, what... People have been posting the misplays, which I've been actually really appreciating. It sounds like something I shouldn't appreciate, but I really do. People are like, actually, you should have done this, or I would have done this, and it's really super helpful to me. Cool, that's fine, because I can Technosmith my way out of the Shard Plate. And I can Ranty the, sh the other Shard Plate, I think is the way to go there. So I'm going to Technosmith the Scorch Main. And I'm going to Uranti Bolt the Shard Plate just to keep the level, the playing field as empty as possible. Because otherwise, I will die. That's all good. Everflame Phoenix, very nice. Battle Tactician I won't really get to use because of the placement of the Root Forged, but that's okay. If I can, I'd love to Synapsis. Oh, that's nasty. That's oh no! Oh, you lucky devil. You lucky fucking duck. Um, I'm going to Everflame and Battle Tech just so I can take one of them out. That He must be loving that draw. Everflame and Battle Tech. Having said that, if he now gets like his second level Ferocious Roar, or pretty much anything cancels that play out, because he drew very lucky. Great. And the worst possible to Oh my god, that's a horrible hand. Nothing I can do with that. I can like, throw a Synapsis out and just have it die. Oh, what an unpleasant hand, especially if he gets if he gets Ferocious Roar now, I think his hand is has done me because he can if he can roar then he takes out all of my creatures while having you know two ten tens basically on the board a ten ten and ten one and then if he gets a, a lifeblood dryad or oh that is such a nasty nasty draw there's the roar fuck and it's level two roar so I can't even oh yes I can the ever synapses will take out the rune grove. Oh, I can't believe how unpleasant that is. I'm just going to do that and just be fucked, really. Uh, my earlier version of the of the deck, earlier version when it was Flame, just didn't have the Synapsis Oracles because I didn't think that, that it could be justified, and I'm really starting to think that was completely right. Like I just can't. So I can Magma Hound the um, Magma Hound doing damage to the Shard Plate and trading with the Rune Grove. Unless he gets another freaking roar. Or a damn it! Holy shit, I'm getting my ass kicked here. And, even more annoyingly, I think I've been playing this like not stupidly. Look, I'm gonna take out that shard plate, because it's the only thing I like it's it's the mode doing the most damage and it's growing each turn. Um and I'm just gonna have to take 24 damage next turn. If I could draw a, uh, a Firestorm, then that can take one of them out. Ah! Just sent you a challenge. Great. So I'm about to die, and uh, it's going to let Bobby know that I'll be a few minutes, because I don't think this is going to take long, to be honest. Be there in a tick. Just finishing another game. Uh, holy crap. I think Firestorm makes the most sense here. It takes out one of them, <laughs> damages the rest, and then I can chuck my Bright Steel here and he'll trade. Even though he'll survive. But it's still not pleasant. And all he needs is. Holy crap! Um, in his in his notes, Bobby made the note that uh, the worst possible thing for me to face with a Utero Tempest deck is pure. Ut uh, sorry, I have an Aloyan Tempest deck. The worst thing that you can possibly face with that deck is a pure Utero, and that is what I'm consistently getting my ass kicked by. Um, provided I trade with that Root Forged. And he just doesn't play any of the cards, I'm fine. No, if he trades if I trade with that root forged, I can Techno Smith in front of the lifeblood. No, no, if if he if I just take out that root forged, I can move my bright steel over. He'll die to the lifeblood, but he'll kill it. 
I can put a Techno Smith down in front of the Root Forge unless he grows them. Hiccup. I'm on 19 health. Restless Wander is nice. Um, what can I do here? Techno Smith cancels out the Root Forged. Or actually, I might Techno Smith in front of the Restless Wanderers just because that way they definitely die and he doesn't have time to buff the, um, the Root Forged. Level of Battle Technician. I should have played the Metamind first, I always forget to do this. You've got to play the Metamind first just in case you get something worth. Nope, I didn't. It's okay. It was a misplay, but not a tragic one. So I'm definitely taking damage from the Restless Wanderers. Hopefully they don't grow. Magma Hound will, unless they grow, take out the Restless Wanderers and someone else. They grew. Um, I can Lightning Snark. No, I can't Lightning Spark him. Nah, I'm dead. Nothing I can do. Oh, well. Uh, so the deck... Maybe the deck is okay, it's just not good against pure Uterra. Let's play against Julian, I'm going to try my Tempest Rush deck, because I have not got a chance to play that, and I think he's <laughs> he's probably expecting me to play my uh, Techno Flame, so he's going to... If, he, uh, if he's playing this based on I know what he's going to play, then you're in trouble, Bobby. I'm not deliberately misleading you, I just really want to play my Rageborn Hellion deck. Uh, so... However, it is going to give it away straight away as I play... I'm going to go with Flame Blade, I think. No, I'm going to go with Seismic. Ah, oh, Flame Blade, Seismic. I've only got the one Seismic Adept, so let's play that. It's a nice card. I like it. Um, at this point, he's probably going, What? I thought this was a Techno Flame deck. It's not. Just lies upon lies. Just endless, endless lies. Uh, oh, if I'd played my... Flame Blade, I could win call with it, but that's okay. That was a that was a judgment call. This is also a relatively new deck, so I'm expecting quite a few misplays here. Uh, I'm just gonna let him know I'm in the game. I'm also gonna tell him I'm not playing Techno Techno uh, Flame. I'm in. Trying my other new deck. Hellforged Avatar. Uh, Everflame will trade with that. Oh, Cold Week. Interesting play. And I think I want to get my Asurian going, so let's get him over here in the corner, doing the damage straight away. Rageborn Hellion, and I'll probably be able to grow him from at least the Asurian, possibly both Asurians. Probably not, actually. He's probably going to Focus on taking out that Asurian Mystic. Now I'm gonna guess he's playing a Frankenbaum deck, and Frankenbaum is a hell of a deck. Fortunately, Rush deck in the Scissor Pepper Rock that is Soul Forge, I'm pretty sure Rush deck beats Frankenbaum. Frankenbaum, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, in which case, he won't mind their Hellforge Avatar dying too much. There he is. Frankenbaum. Oh, and an Epidemic. Nice. Good play. Oh, so I can't even... I could just ignore it and play my <laughs> Rageborn and Asurian. I'll play the Rageborn... Ah, oh, I'll play him here. For now I am going to ignore that Hellforged Avatar because there's naught I can do about it. This way my Rageborn Hellion trades with Frankenborn. Uh, I don't know if this is the right play. Good luck, have fun, my Abomination deck. Everflame will trade with Hellforged. Firestorm will not take Hellforged out. Firestorm last turn would have been really nice. We'd have taken them both out. But that's not the way that it wasn't to be, is what I'm trying to say there. I'd love to get another Rageborn down. Really depends on what he plays. If he manages to take out my Asturian Mystic, I won't risk another Rageborn. He did, I won't. Ah, that's nasty. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna die pretty hardcore here. I'm pretty, I think. Uh, I'm gonna firestorm and rageborn. I guess. Really, not much that's appealing to me there.
Um, I'd love to play Stormbringer, but I shall. Let's go for it. I don't know how this deck works yet. It's a fun deck. I've had some success with it. Uh, it really depends on, on the draws. It's a very kind of draw-dependent deck, and I realize that's that's weak, but it is, so fuck yeah. I'm going to play a Seismic and a Rageborn. Uh, normally at this stage I'd hope to have them down below 94 health, but that's okay. I have, if, if you watch this for a while, you'll know I don't consider myself a very good player. Uh, I think Drobot's a very good deck, and I think I can play it well just because I've been playing variants of it for so long, but I'm not a particularly skilled player. Cool. I'm going to chuck my cards down in front of his cards. So that'll tr that'll take out his Hellforged, and this will take out his Flesh Fiend. Although if he managed to play Frankenborn, then I am in trouble. I like Seismic because its ability doesn't require leveling, which is actually pretty unusual. It's just move target creature, it doesn't, doesn't specify level at all. Uh, I'd love to get a Flame Blade down. Probably Ferocious Roar, honestly, is what I'll do next, because... Uh, That's pretty solid. Yeah, it'll counter his epidemic. Ah, damn it! Ah. Will both my creatures die? No, one of my creatures will die, which is annoying, but that's okay. I'm gonna chuck out a. Let's see. I want to move his. Okay, I want to roar. No, 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 no. Uh, I want to play something and then roar. I'm going to play a Rageborn Hellion. And then move him over here. And then Roar. And then Battle. So that'll grow my Rageborns once each. Meaning you can't just trade with a Grimborn. Although if he draws his level 2 at Epidemic, I'm fucked now. Um, this has not been a particularly strong showing of this deck. I think this deck is better than this game has given it, has, has shown it off as at the moment. I could just be crazy misplaying too. I'm not very good at this game. I like it though, I really do enjoy Soulforge. And I'm okay with not being great at it because I'm learning. That's me getting some money. Isn't that nice? Oh, and someone, someone's reviewed two of my stories. How nice of them. You get an epidemic? No, he's gonna cull. That's an interesting play. I guess he realizes that he just really wants to clear the board of his pen. I'm gonna ever flame and I could give it fervent assault, that would be fun. But then it'd be way too vulnerable to the epidemics that I know his deck is full of, so I shan't do that. He's gonna play these in the corners. And keep trying to hit for that damage. This has left me really unable to Firestorm. So if I Firestorm, I take out my Endeavor Flame Phoenix, and it just needs to survive one more turn to become a level 3. I can win call uh, my Ashurian if I need to. Don't know why I need to, but that is an option. We know that now. Ah, that's nasty. And what's more, Firestorm won't even take it out. Um, what'll take out... Ah, no, Epidemic! Crap! Okay, I'm pretty fucked now. I think I'm just gonna like Firestorm that won't even do anything. <laughs> yeah, poor Mystic. Um, Firestorm won't even take out the Hellforged. It'll get all the health back straight away. So I'm just gonna go with a Rageborn and Enrage it, in the hope that it survives a few turns and I draw something. I don't even know what I have that'll take out a Hellforged Avatar level two. I'm going to level three, so I should have something. Uh, Stormbringer will if it moves the right way. I'm probably going to Rageborn and Asurian and just basically ignore that Hellforge and try to do the damage race thing. But, it depends on what he plays. I'm in trouble here. <laughs> That's not nice. Okay, I'm going to Stormbring. I'm going to bring the Storm. And I'm going to Hellborn, Rageborn. It's 
not ideal play, but I really don't have <laughs> anything else I can do at the moment because I'm facing a very nice deck by Bobby. A level 3 Seismic, that'll take out one of the remaining Hellforged. If that Stormbringer moves to the, the one place where he doesn't do any good, I'm going to be cranky at him. Hear that Stormbringer? No, you didn't. Thank you. Thank you for moving to the right spot. Probably going to Seismic Adept against the left-hand Hellforged Avatar. And maybe... <clears throat> and probably Enrage the Rageborn, I think. Because he seems to be my best bet at the moment. plays an Epidemic, then my Stormbringer does not take out that Hellforge. Ah, he didn't. Huzzah. What do you got? I'm predicting a level 2 Grimgorn in front of the Rageborn. That's my guess. Bring him on. Yeah, interesting play. Oh, there's a Grimgorn. Okay, so I'm going to Seismic Adept and Enrage my Rageborn. I don't know if this is going to help me out, but we will find out. Gives me a lot of flexibility next turn. That's fine. He hasn't been getting his big Frankenborn, so... There's a nice card. Another review. Someone's going through and reviewing my books. How about that? I write porn, by the way, so if you... These hellions scare me. That's a good sign. It's good when your opponent is scared. Um, I write porn, so if you go, like, searching for my pen name, don't be surprised to find porn, because that is what I do for a full-time living. You probably didn't know that, viewer, but now you do. Everflame's very nice. That's annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it. I might play my Stormforged to cancel out his Hellforged. That's a nice play. I would be happy with that. Unfortunately, he will heal enough that it won't matter, so maybe I won't do that. Let's put that guy there. And let's Everflame. Everflame will die, but I'm okay with that because there's always that chance. He'll die with me having one turn left, so there's that chance he'll come back to life. I would be happy with. Rageborn! Big one, too. Probably going to Roar. I'd love to Firestorm, but that at the moment would just take out my creatures and probably not his. He's playing a deck with very big bodies, so it's not a great one to Firestorm against. Definitely going to Rageborn. Maybe Call the Lightning, I don't know. Really depends entirely on what he plays. Okay, that's good. I'm happy with that because that's going to come back at the end of my turn, unless he has an Epidemic, which he doesn't, so I don't know what he's doing, because that doesn't help him, because Everflame Phoenix has Defender, so he doesn't attack on my turn, so near. Ah, oh, Call the Weak! No, that's what he's doing! Good play! Damn you! Ah, I can't even... My Stormforge doesn't even get big enough to take him out. No Phoenix for me! Yes, thank you, I worked that one out. Uh, so even with a... Call the lightning and a fro uh, call the lightning and first roar would have been made it big enough, so I'm just gonna ignore him for now and roar my guys and see how big I can get my rage born before I dip 30 health I'm on. Crap. Although he's you know I've got some decent stuff out here now. There's nothing I can do about that Grimborn. If he moves towards my Stormforged and my Stormforged survives. I can give him Fervent Assault and that will take him out. If he moves towards my Rageborn, I can give him Fervent Assault and that will take him out. If I put it on my Ashurian Mystic, then that does 9 damage, not enough to kill him. Put it on Deep Branch, that does 10 damage, not enough to kill him. So, really, to, to take out that Grimgaunt this turn, I rely on him moving one way or the other. So, Bobby, if you're, if you're watching this and you feel like helping me out, move him one way or the other. That would be really nice at the moment. Yes, that doesn't bode well. Think about the... Ah, crap, on 17 minus 8, on 9 health. What? Ah, Explosive Demise. Okay, that was a, really nothing I could do there. Uh, let's see if he wants to go again. There's my emails from Bobby. Again, I'd love to try that deck out once more. It did get its ass kissed, but kissed. It got its ass kicked is what I'm trying to say there. 
Good game. Oh yeah, I always forget to say good game. Good game. Uh, Explosive Demise is a really good card. It's just a really nice, solid card. What does it do? I mean, I know what it does, but is it... Target creature is like target level 1 creature? Because I've always been assuming that it's target level 1 creature. At level 1, I mean. Maybe it's not. Let's find out. Explosive Demise is a really nice card. I really like it. Level 2 or lower. Huh. How about that? I have been playing under the assumption that it was not a level 2 or lower, so that's really interesting to find out. Uh, am I starting the game, or are you? Let's, let's start one, and if he does as well, then I can stop mine, or just leave it there, it doesn't really matter. Faster! Oops, no, not random. Online friend, untimed game. Loading Bobby. Challenge friend, I'm expecting to go back and find... Yep, there it is. He's already challenged one. Let's go. I think this is a nice deck. I tried to find some archetypes for this kind of Rageborn Hellion deck. Let's go turn my light on. I'll be back in one second. What a difference! Oh! Soul, 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 soul Forge crashed. How unusual for Soul Forge. It never crashes on the iPad. Um, I tried to look up some Rageborn Hellion. My earlier Rageborn Hellion deck was a splash of Necrium for Epidemics and the like. But I think it was after playing against Bobbies that I realised that splashing Euterra gives you the Enrages and the Ferocious Worlds to keep your guys alive, and it's actually much more important to keep your guys alive than it is to kill the other guys, because yours grow. This deck will look familiar to you. I'm expecting a Drobit deck. That is my expectation. That's fine. Or maybe maybe Shagrias. God, that'd be a nightmare. I don't know how to deal with Shagrias. This deck can't, because it's... They're just a yeah, crazy Euterra card. Um, provided my Flame Phoenix survives and can, let me chuck down two Rageborns. Ah, right! Zombie deck! I like the zombie deck. I think it's fun. Uh, I'm gonna chuck down two Rageborns and get them growing straight away. I'm just gonna ignore his cards entirely. Although, this is actually, now that I think about it, a really stupid play, because A, my Flame Phoenix now has nowhere to move, and B, I haven't killed his Wrath, which I meant to do. Uh, I can chuck down a Stormforged Avatar or an Everflame to take out his Wrath. He won't be able to chuck down three zombies, I don't think. I can even Fervent Assault, yeah, I'm going to Fervent Assault my Rageborn Hellion, move him over and take out his Zerath, unless he plays a second Zerath. But if he does that, then it's okay. It's okay. So, if he doesn't play a second Zerath, I'm going to chuck a Fervent Assault on my Rageborn, move him over, take out his Zerath. If he does play a second Zerath, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill it, and then play something... To kill him, that's the aim. I'm just going to kill everything. Kill all the cards. Uh, my ideal play here would be... I don't know, it really 100% depends on what he does. Come along, Bobby! What do you got? Because, yeah, Asherian Mystic could be a really nice card right now. Stormforge is going to be as big as it's going to get. That's okay, because he's not actually a zombie at the moment. Unless he's got an Epidemic. He doesn't! Ha ha! This is good. This is very nice for me because now my Rageborns all survive. Oh! Oh right, yeah, you can do that thing. I forgot about that. What? Oh right, he's a zombie. Um, I kind of want to move my other Rageborn out of the way and let him survive. Yeah, let's do that. Let's really keep these Rageborns alive. Although, having said that, he can trade cards for them, so... Maybe I should have killed... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Too late now. <clears throat> I'm not very good at this game. <clears throat> that also sound like I'm crying. Uh, so they've grown, but he can just really trade cards with them using his Scourge Flames. That means two Zymuses and three Keepers. You don't have any Keepers. That is sad. I have a Keeper. 
It's really nice. I would love to build around it, but I only have the one. And they're so hard to keep alive. It's really hard to keep them alive for more than like one turn. Actually, I should build a three Zivian and Keeper deck. That would be nice. Keeper. I'd love to have a Keeper and Zymus deck. A uh, Keeper and Lyria deck. But I have no Lyrias. I only have one Keeper. Because that would be just chock full of cards that do stuff when they come into play. Ah, another Zarath. Does he die? Oh, he doesn't kill, so it's okay. Is he gonna... Ah, he dies, though. Damn. Is he going to actually trade cards? Or is he... like, there's no point, is there? Ah, he's going to kill off one of his things to kill off my guy. That's interesting. It's weird how the um, exclamation marks aren't appearing as early as I would expect them to. Um... What do I want to do here? Scourge, Flame, and Zrath go so nicely together because he's a zombie. I didn't. I've never. I've never seen that combo before, unless I've played against you and not noticed. But that is a nice combo. I'm sort of at a loss here. Um, I've got to take out that Scourge Flame, but whatever I throw at it. Okay, I'm just going to take it out. The only way I know how. And I'm going to check a Flame Blade down. I didn't do that last time, and I wish I had, so let's remedy that. Oh, this is a good deck. His deck, not mine. Mine's crap. <laughs> My deck is a piece of shit. I like it, but it's not great. I it, It's the best, it's by far the best rush deck I've ever been able to build. I've tried so many rush decks, but I just don't have the mind for it. This one has been doing... I mean, I say rush deck, but you know, we're going to get to level 3 with this game as well. Ah, nice, doubles the wrath. Why are the exclamation marks not appearing? Come on, exclamation marks. There they are. I'm going to deep branch here. And. Oh, I could have flame bladed! Damn it, I always forget that their ability is level dependent. I see the exclamation mark, I'm like, everything dies. So yeah, what I should have done was put a flame blade here, traded, like, I wouldn't have lost anything, I would have just, yeah. That was stupid, that was a severe misplay. Um, if I roar, no, no point roaring, that's just flame blade. It's flame blade all over the shop. Keep doing my seven damage in the corner. Ah, that was a stupid play. Firestorm would be really nice right now. Firestorm will wipe out I'll take out my Phoenix, but we'll take out all of his freaking little annoying shitty poo face cards. <laughs> Probably gonna Firestorm. I'd love to Firestorm an Avatar, but then it comes out as a reduced Avatar, and that doesn't seem worth it. Alternative for Avatar and then Firestorm, it takes damage, which is, I guess, better than the alternative. I don't know. I might fire, Firestorm and then a Shurian just to. Get some damage through. Because I am doing damage. If you ever look, I'm actually ahead in damage at the moment. Ah, oh, go away, you fucking shaper. Fuck hard. Is fuck hard an offensive term? I think it is. I apologize for using offensive term. I just really hate shapers. <laughs> I mean, obviously, he's playing pure Necrium, so it's not like he's taking advantage, but uh, I still hate him. So, if I Firestorm, that really takes out every creature except for the Dark Shaper. Which puts him in a very nice position, doesn't it? Yeah, let's do it. I don't know what else to do. And then let's Stormforge can be taken out by two of his little activations. That's the thing. Everything yeah, so ah I can't even can't even do damage with the Assurance. I'm just gonna Stormforge. I'm getting frustrated at my own lack of capable deck making deck building. I'll be able to chuck a deep branch out and take out his Dark Shaper. Even if he wipes out my Stormforge. And a Zymus, of course. And a Scourge Flame. Grumble, grumble. Um. Look, honestly, in this, in this scenario, I'm, I'm most tempted to just resign. <laughs> Just because there's not really much I can do here. 
He at least survives. I should have played a level 2. Why would I not play the level 2? He will not survive, but I want to level the card. I haven't seen any Botanimate. I don't even know I have a Botanimate in this deck. I was kind of counting on taking him out before the Zymus got to level 3, but that obviously did not work. I'm getting sad again. I'm just not very good at this game, and I would like to be good at this game. I mean, it's not that I'm not good, it's just Bobby is very good. He's got, like, he's playing decks that he's played presumably many, many times, and has really got the hang of, whereas I'm playing a deck that I'm not particularly used to. Is it going to kill the Felbot? Yeah. That's what I would do in that exact situation as well. I'm just going to chuck my Rage Bones down. There's not I can do... So I chuck my rage balls down, which I'm doing. That does actual battle damage, so that will grow my rage balls, but not fast enough to take out his frickin' Grimgaunt Devourer. <sighs> I'm not a sore loser. I just get frustrated when I've built something that I thought was okay and it turns out to be crap. I think that's a pretty human response, that makes sense. He Scourge Flames the Zymus in my Rageborn, that grows his Grimgaunt big enough to kill me? No, not quite. Oh, nice, Doubles Wrath. Oh, he's gonna... that's interesting, right? Oh, nothing I can do here. Um, except the Sock. Oh, that was mean me. Why are you gotta be so mean me? Yeah. Um, what I should do... Okay, here's the thing. I'm playing decks I'm not particularly used to, and so I'm not very good at them, and they're not as good as they should be. So I'm getting sad because... I'm getting sad for stupid... I'm getting sad because I'm pushing myself past what I'm used to, which is a good thing. You're meant to do that. That is an encourageable thing to do as a human being. Push yourself past what you're automatically good at and get better at things. But... It's also annoying me. <laughs> I want to be better. Why are the explanation marks not appearing? That's so weird. They normally do. And there's Zymus. Cool. So I'm just going to concede that. I'm going to ask Bobby if he wants to play one more game just because I want to cheer myself up by playing a deck I'm good at. Well done, sir. That deck needs work. Colon, yours rocks. One more. I'd love to play something that doesn't make me sad. Send. I am going to see if he wants to play against... If he wants to play again, I'm going to play my... See, Jobot I know is good, so I'm almost not bored with it, but I'm like, that's a good deck. Good game, Peter, thank you. Um, so I'm going to play... If he wants to play one more, I'm going to play my Shragrius deck, because it's fun, and... If I get the right cards, I win, and if I don't, I still enjoy playing it. Unlike those, those last two games where I just kind of felt frustrated and a bit crappy. It's getting all deep and serious on you. Jesus. Um, I'll show you what's in that deck that I just played. I think I showed you at the beginning of the video, but I'll show you again now. Just so that you can give me some suggestions on either A, what I can do to fix it, or B, what I can do to play it better. Um, I mean, I didn't get ideal draws in either of those, but as I said, relying on ideal draws is not... is not an indicator of a good deck. Uh, having said that, I have had some really nice draws with that deck, and it just kicks ass. You can get, like, a couple of Asturians and a, um, and a Rage Born Down, and then start using Call the Lightning, you just, you just kick bottom. Fun decks incoming. Let's go Shragrius. My favourite card. I cannot wait until I get another one or two of those and I can just chuck them in the deck with him and just... Oh, it's going to be a garden of little Shragriuses that grow into big, scary Shragriuses. By the way, uh, Bobby, I know you'll watch this, so just to let you know, I'm not annoyed at you for playing good decks. I think they're really great decks. 
I would meet like actually I might send a message now. Oh, sorry. I meant to say I want to play a deck of mine that is fun. You can play your decks. I love them. They are cool decks. Full stop. Don't feel like you have to play something subpar just because I am a little bit shit. No, I won't say that because of me. Which implies it, but doesn't say it. Let's go, Shragrius. If you haven't seen this deck, it is a life gain deck. Oh, <laughs> he's also playing one. Huh. Well, we'll see then, shall we? Shagrice deck versus Shagrice deck. I'm going to play a Technosmith and leave him with no idea what I'm playing. I love Ghost Ride Stag, by the way. I used to think it was roughly on par with Lightbringer, but it's just not. It's just so much better. You get the health when it comes in. It's a little bit less powerful, but you get the health when it comes in. And he's going to think I'm playing Drogon. <laughs> You inspired? Oh, cool. So we're actually playing a mirror match here. Um, yeah, stags are so nice. You, because, uh, yeah, they do the damage. They, they get you the health when they come in. They get you reliable health. Uh, even if your ghost, even if your Lightbringer survives one round, it doesn't bring in as much health. <laughs> Crap. So, I don't know what I'm facing here. This is going to be really interesting. I could try to rush it, but I just don't have the deck for that. Yeah, so he's going to think that I'm playing my Drobit deck, I reckon. Let's see how long I can go without actually bringing out any Uterra and revealing what deck I'm playing. Like I said, if I was playing Drobit, there would at least be a Dreadbolt in there to deal with his Sugar Ices, but there is not. Uh, so this is a mirror match that he doesn't know is a mirror match, so I'm going to be really interested to see his reaction. Oh, I could play a pair of Synapses here, that would be also fun. Because, I mean, he's going to be trying to gain health. So he's obviously not going to be trying to rush it, so I can... Oh my shrug is the opposite of subpar. What's that message? It's pure awesomeness. <laughs> oh yeah, mirror match! I'm not even going to reveal... I'm going to play both my synapses. I don't think that's actually the strongest... Oh, that's nasty. Nothing I can do about it. I'm going to move my Bright Steel closer and closer and try to take him out that way. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get how far through I can get this before he realizes I'm not playing Drobit. but it's going to be really interesting. I'm expecting to lose this, because he has multiple Sugar Ices, and a Gox, and probably just a general better deck all round. Uh, oh, Botanimate! That's what I want. Botanimate and Energy Prison. I need both of them. So I'm going to level him up with my Synapses. Yes, if I can if I can level them up, then I've actually got some method of dealing with sugar ice. I forgot that right here. I'm gonna play my battle tech. I'm gonna level up my if provided my synapses are alive, I'm gonna level my botanimate and energy prism. No, I'm gonna energy prism If I energy prism whatever he plays next, I can level up an energy surge and a botanimate and play a battle tech. Ah damn, he's got one too. So I can level up gonna level up my botanimate. No, I want to play that, actually, I do. I'm going to play Botanimate on Gox. Reveal, showing my hand, but that's okay, it had to happen eventually. I'm going to level up Energy Prison in hand. By that, I mean with... By, yeah, by which... By that, I mean with Synapsis Oracle. I really don't want him to have his Synapsis Oracle out, but there's not much I can do about it, I don't think. Uh, I want to level up my Energy Prison. And I can either play Battletech or Glow Stride. I'm going to go with Battletech to take his freaking Synapsis Oracle out as quickly as possible. I have a surprise for you next turn. What? He got a. I bet he got a, I bet he got a Bright Steel Gargoyle. He's been wanting a Bright Steel Gargoyle forever. I'm way too excited about this, but I bet that's what it is. He's got his first Bright Steel Gargoyle. I'm so confident in that case, I'm not even like questioning it, I'm just like, that is what it is. What else could it be? Shagrai is level 3, that would be a surprise. That would be an impressive surprise, considering we're still in level 1. So I'm going to surge here, probably going to play my... Ooh, 
Ah! <laughs> I got preemptively excited about your, uh, you getting a bright steel gargoyle. I'm sorry, you're probably watching this Bobby and being like, I don't have one, way to rub it in. <laughs> Revenge at long last. That's nice, but it was probably not the strongest play for you, to be honest. Um, I'm glad you did that, that was good. Ah, something doesn't quite take him out. I've got quite a nice board happening here, don't I? Let's see, let's surge and see what I get. Hopefully a Shagrai so I can start to actually fucking level up. <laughs> he swore unnecessarily. There are glow strides. Oh, I'm gonna... Techno Smith... My glow... I'm gonna Techno Smith my Bright Steel and level up my glow stride because... I wanna get that health. If he draws badly, I might do okay just from sheer board dominance here. Because he doesn't have much out at the moment. I have a lot out that he can't really take out easily. Yay, Shagrice and a Techno Smith. I am worried about his... Because I think he's got two. Let me know, Bobby. Do you have two or three Techno uh, uh, Shagrices? Because I think you have at least... I know you have at least two. I think you might have three. And if you have three, I can't, I can't deal with that. Nothing I can do against three... Shagryas And Techno Smith in front of the Gox. Leveling up my Shagryas. And I'm going to Snap Sasaracle. Probably on top of my old Snap Sasaracle because she's not doing much at the moment. But hopefully he kills something. That's right. Hopefully he kills something. That's what I'm wishing for at the moment. Because if he does kill something, then I don't have to replace a creature. I love how they're called creatures even when they're like. Except like Sasaracle. I wouldn't really call her a creature. He's naked. I've never noticed that before. Look at them, they're all naked. That's obviously a minority report reference. That's a nice play. Pretty solid. Oh no, my Techno Smith won't be enough to take Gox out. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh. These things happen. Techno Smith Shagrias. Battle. Synapsis Oracle. Um, yeah, I'm probably in trouble because he has, statistically speaking, a more likely chance of getting his Shagrias out. Oh, hopefully he plays a Synapsis that I can Botanimate, otherwise I'm going to have to level that up. I can level that up in hand if my Synapsis Oracle survives. Probably going to uh, Echo Wisp because I'm, he's not got... Uh, Echo Wisp is a really powerful card against this deck because you can't deal with it, basically. <laughs> oh, I'm really worried about how many Shagrai... There's no way of knowing! I know that he has him in there. If I, if I didn't know what deck he was playing, I wouldn't know he... Oh, he put animated it. That makes me sad. I don't have to waste mine. Because I can't not play it, because if he gets his level 3 Shagrises out, I'm just fucked. F-U-C-K-E-D. <laughs> I don't like it, thank you, Julian. I do not like it one bit. I might battle tech to boost up my attack on everything else. That's right, I'm not going to use a I'm going to... I mean, realistically, I have no way of knowing I'm actually playing a Shagrai deck here. I only know because he's told me. So if I was playing this against anyone else, I wouldn't be leveling up my Botanimate aggressively. So that's what I'm going to do. Maybe it's stupid. Oh my god, he's on 40 health. I might be able to take him out. <laughs> Hope he plays a synapsis so I can metascope it. Because that is my funnest thing to do. I might play my... Yep. Ha <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. So many of them. Uh, I'm going to metascope this synapsis because I'd be a fool not to. I would love to play that battle tactician somewhere useful, but I cannot. So I'm going to play it here, that'll trade, and... Oh crap, that's all the cards I get to play. Ah, oh, I'm only doing 7 damage. See, if I'd played my battle tech, that would have gone down to 5 damage, but more in potential future turns. Bright Steel level 3? <laughs> yes, you did ask for that, Julian. Bright Steel level 3 is nice. Um... 
Yeah, I'm, I'm so freaking scared of these Trichorises, and there's nothing I can do against them either. I can Metasculpt them to get rid of their, uh... Ooh. Interesting. Oh, you are just rubbing it in my freaking face now, aren't you? You freaking dickin... God, hot damn it. Uh, I'm gonna Glow Stride and Bright Steel. I would love to get that last bit of damage through. Like, even if you play the Shagrise now, I'm just going to ignore it and start just trying to hammer the damage through. Because the ground is shaking, that's not a good sign. Because uh, I, I, Have I even leveled mine up at all? I don't think I have. No, I have. I've leveled up once. So if I'm going to level three synapses out, then I have a chance of a round three <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> I like this deck. This is a fun deck. Like I said, I'm not sitting here horribly depressed. I'm actually enjoying the game. Um, if I get a level 3 Synapsis out, and then it survives, and I draw Sugar Ice, that's my only chance of getting Sugar Ice out this game. So I'm just going to have to focus on getting that damage through. So if I play my level 2 Battle Tactician, ah, um, means overwriting something, but... <gasps> that is a good idea. I might chuck one. I think I have one of those in this deck, but I took it out. But, uh, damn. Hot damn. Okay, yeah, I'm fucked at this point. Nothing I can do. I mean, I'm going to do 22 damage this turn, or if I replace that Echo with... Detanimate. Wrong level. Energy Prison. Wrong level. Let's see. Okay. If I attack now, I do 22 damage. Then if I replace my Echo Wisp with a Battle Tactician, Sneaky Talison, yeah, that's good. What's the math here? So I'm going to do 22. He's going to be on 10 health. He has to hit me three times with his Sugar Ice. The only thing is he only needs to fill up the lanes. What do I want to do here? Okay, I'm definitely going to battle. Do 22 damage. He's going to be on 10 health. Then I'm going to replace my Echo Wisp with a Battle Tactician. And then I'm going to Techno Smith in front of Shagrise, not to actually try to kill it, just to try to really reduce the damage as much as possible. But in the process, I'm going to level up one of my freaking Botanimates. So, all I need to do is hit with my Bright Steel once. Trouble is, there's no clear lanes. Echo Wisp is really nice now as well. Oh, also I can move my Bright Seal over, he'll take out Talison. So basically, yeah, the, the, the strategy at the moment is ignore the Shagrais. Gox I don't care about. I wish there was some way of clearing a lane, it'd be so nice. Glow Stride I don't care about. Oh, except for the given health then. Another Gox, yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> so currently Bright Steel trades with... Oh my god, Bright Steel takes out Shagrias at the moment. I'm going to do that. That gives me a few more turns to survive. I'm going to Echo Wisp over here. I'm going to take the 16 damage from Talison, I think. And then play my Synapsis so that... Oh, is that? no, Synapsis won't take it out. Let's see whether this stag saves my life. Synapsis will survive long enough for me to hopefully get a Shagrise. That's really very positive thinking, I know. But it worked! Okay, if my Synapsis Oracle can survive, I get my own Shagrise out. Thank you. I was very happy with that. I mean, I'm gonna be... Oh, crap, I'm on 36 health. Okay, I'm, I'm still probably fucked, but... Especially because he... Ah. Oh. Damn. I don't think it would have mattered anyway, because I can't stop all this damage coming through. Damn, damn, damn. That's annoying. Had my, yeah, had she survived, I could have leveled up Shagrias, taken out one of those Gox, Gox Eye, that's the blue of Gox, Technosmithed in front of Talison. Doesn't matter, it's a moot point, but, um, that was the potential. I'm dead, but I'm just going to play this out. Pff, 
<laughs> Doesn't matter. Why do you, why do you, why are you even doing that? You go, I don't care that you got another, guy, another fucking trick eyes. What have I got there? Nothing that would help me. That's close. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day. That's another three losses in a row. This seems to be the week of me just playing and losing and losing. No, is that four? I played one against the stranger where I lost. I played two against Julian where I lost, and then I lost this one. So that's four losses in a row. These videos now are just me losing to people. Ah, uh, nice battle technician. I was so close. So close. Just one empty lane was all I needed. Um, thank you very much to Bobby for playing. Let me know if you've got any tips on my play or on my decks. It's been a pleasure. You don't get to see me open a packet because I lost too many times. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.